How is it going, viewers? Brad Pryor of Barstool Entertainment bringing you a very interesting um, GTA San Andreas mission. This one I kind of accidentally triggered while I was flying this airplane, you see, to Las Venturas. And I was going to do the, you know, fly the airplane over and then CJ jumps out and parachutes down to the four dragons. Well, yeah, I did that. But there was a kind of unintended consequence to the braggadocia and fun that I was going to have, and I triggered a mission. A mission that the truth calls CJ for help. This is called Don Peyote. I approve of that shape. Now when I slap you, don't trip. Hello? Who am I speaking to? It's CJ. Hey, Troop, is that you? Might be. Might be a government algorithm trying to pick your brain, so don't admit anything. Whatever, man. What's up? I need a favor, Carl. Thought I could cash in some karma chips. Your credit good? I took some fellow travelers deep into the desert of La Peyote Safari a few nights back. We faced the inner light and communed with the Lizard King. Sound fun. How'd it go? That's the problem. I don't know. I'm in Los Santos. I woke up at a Japanese bathhouse about an hour ago. I have no idea how I got here or where the others are. They're probably fine. I don't think so. They were Brits, a band, and their managers. They have no experience about the desert. Okay. Where'd you make camp? I can go have a look. I took them up Arco del Oeste. Fantastic sunsets. Best start looking for them up there. Okay, the first thing you're going to need to do to go find Paul and Macker, or whatever his name is, is a vehicle with four doors. And the reason you need a vehicle with four doors is there's two other guys. And a two-door vehicle won't do. So you got to find these guys in the desert where the truth left them. And the odd part is, it's kind of the same place where um, you did some Torino and then Truth missions and where you met them and it's that weird plateau area that these guys are located at. So, <clears throat> sorry about that. What you want to do is you want to get out in the desert to where CJ's um, whatever the airstrip is, the Verdant Meadows is. And once you get there, you just drive straight across and it'll kind of take you to where the guys are. And I'm going to fast forward through to that point because it's a boring drive. Now that we've gotten close, it's just to drive up this dirt road to find the two guys that Truth wants CJ to rescue. Like I said, this is the same place where you meet uh, the Truth and Torino and other people for different missions. And once you find this red blip and pull into it, a cut scene begins and you meet the two men. 
Hello? Hey, anybody out here? The truth sent me. Hey, over there. Hey, man, you all right? Shit, hell. I'm fucking hanging. Stone me, bloody crows. Oh, where am I? I don't know, mate. I was having a dream. I was wanking on with some fat bird's tits when this twat turned up. Macca, you fucking psycho. You did it again, didn't you? That peyote was shite. You're lucky I brought some tabs along. I told you a million times not to put stuff in my fucking drink. Oh, piss off, kid, huh? Who are you again? Oh, I'm a friend of the truth. He said you guys might need a ride into town or something. But I'm a fucking raspberry. You're not a fucking raspberry. I can't feel my legs, RP. I've wanked the use out of them. Just stand up, you soppy cunt. We go through this every weekend. Ow, woo. Man, what the hell was y'all doing last night? Anybody got a rag? Uh, so where I'm taking y'all? I got a pal, Rosie. He's got some casino gig going down in Ventura, sweet. All right. Fuck off, string. Oh, charming. All right, ladies, let's go. Come on, fucking Northerners. Well, it felt like I couldn't feel him honest. These guys are just going to stand there and wait until you find a car. If you don't have a four-door car, you're going to have to find one. So it's good to bring one with. And then you can pick these guys up and take them back to Caesar's Palace. And there's some very... Well, you got to take, take them to a snake farm first. And so the drive the hole, drive there Mecca, is... The um, I don't fucking well, do how that. should we say... Interesting, and Lots you should snakes. stop when asked it's to a stop. Farm not too far from here. We can go check it out. You look as pale as a drowned baby, man. Oh, oh God. Oh, I think I'm gonna chuck. P, what you need is some food down your. <laughs> A fried egg sarnie with mayonnaise will sort it. Oh, oh. And what about a pickled egg? Oh, pull over now. <laughs> Shit. Uh. <laughs> 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 if you don't pull over, you won't get that cut scene. And he'll just get all throwing up and his friend will keep uh, picking on him until you get to the snake farm. Once you get to the snake farm, something, well, how should we say, kind of gross is insinuated. So let's get to this part and see what happens. Here we are. Look familiar? Looks just like sulfur to me. What are you talking about? Take a gander at him, fellas. Is that him? That there city boy has gone and been with my prize hog. Now I don't even get no sugar from her. And that one done screwed my sis. I had a terrible aching in my grinds ever since. I'm gonna slap you silly for giving me and my fella the red bumpies. What in tarnation? I'm a fixin' to give you a whooping for what you gone and done to my young uns. Oh no, run like fuck. Everybody in the car. Well, that was kind of gross, wasn't it? What uh, was insinuated? Took down the bumpkins at the snake Seems farm, you and now time. you gotta get these hey, guys the back to, we'll to their destination, which is the which casino uh, is Caliglia's Casino, by coincidence, okay. which will trigger some events and I'm gonna fast forward the trip back to the casino because again it's just kind of boring driving stuff and they kind of talk about Rosie and whatever I mean again I'm going to uh, fast forward
Come on then. Let's go in and see Rosie. Kent Paul, here to see Rosie. Hey boss, there's somebody here to see you. Oh, go away. I have a migraine. Oh, hey, Rosie, son, it's me, Paolo. Oh, God. My despair is complete. Okay, let him in. Rosie, how are you, me old son? I pray that one day I can escape my perpetual torment and retire in peace and comfort a million miles away from anyone I've ever fucking known, and instead, I get this? Come on, it's me, Kent Poe. Well, hello, Paul. What a pleasant surprise. Who the hell are these guys? These are my boys, Maka and Cole. Sir. You are any speckled doves, boss? I'm peeking on one right now. Top of the range, <laughs> man. Well, it's fitting as I sit here up to my neck in a river of shit with every mafia gorilla from Liberty City to Los Santos pissing in my face that you, Kent Paul, should witness it. What's the matter, son? Too numerous, oppressively insurmountable, and depressingly fucking typical even to mention. It's all right, bruv. Paolo can help. Give us some space, would you, son? I'll give you a tinkle later. All right, for sure. Not you, Macca. Oh, you twat. Unbelievable. Hey, Woolsey, I think I found a way to scope Caligula's casino without causing too much suspicion. We can talk later. Kent Paul and Ken Rosenberg are from GTA Vice City. And this is kind of a continuation of a bit of that story. Well, had fun with this one. I'm Brad Pryder, Barstool Entertainment. Don't forget to like this or subscribe. They both support the channel. I'm trying to get 100 subscribers if I haven't already. As always, thanks for stopping by. Speak on it. All right, Cole. It's me, Paolo. Listen, Rosie's in a tangle, and I think you're the geezer to sort it out for us, okay, sunshine? Slip round the office and see me, double quick. Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate the opportunity. Take this personal, but you getting jacked. <laughs>